Hello. Hi, is this Mike? Uh, yes. Who's this? We've never spoken before. My name's Randall, and the leasing office just gave me your number. I'm actually new in your complex. Oh, well, okay. It's nice to meet you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you, too. I asked for your number specifically because I found out that you, I'm the unit directly above you. You're above me. You, you look up. I'm right there. I'm like your top neighbor or neighbor on top. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to give you my contact info in case anything like weird happens or like you hear any loud noises late at night. You know? well, what do you mean loud noises? What are you talking about? In other places that I've lived before, like neighbors and other people around me have like said some things to me and maybe like the authorities wait, wait, what do you and mean other authority? things got involved. Yeah, what I'm sorry, you're gonna have to be more specific. What are you talking about when you say authorities? You mean the police? Well, yeah. Uh, I just look, I just wanted to get ahead of a situation that obviously follows me. So I'm trying to be a polite neighbor and tackle the issue now before you call any silly authorities or anything. Yeah, okay, you're starting to freak me out a little bit. I'm, you got to be way more specific what you're talking about. It's not a huge deal, man. I got like a foot thing. Like, a, What do you mean a foot thing? Well, I broke my foot a little while ago and the pain didn't go away. So I was actually prescribed medicinal crack from my doctor. Well, which, wait, what did you say? My, I broke my foot. No, no, the crack part. Oh, you said crack. Yeah, it's medicinal crack. Did you miss that part? It's it's right, but it's still crack, like the drug. I mean, technically, yeah, but aren't all drugs drugs? This is really weird. Like agreed, but I just wanted to let you know. Like, if at three a.m. middle of the night you hear a bunch of like windows opening and shutting or like wait, wait, ruckus, wait, gonna... it's fine. You know, I'm on my meds. Yeah, you're going to be doing that? Opening, shutting windows in the middle of the night? Not necessarily that. I mean, sometimes it's the silverware drawer. Apparently, I like slamming it open and shut and open and shut like 500 times in a row. I don't remember any of it. Oh my so God. don't ask me. That's just a quote are from you, the police you, report. Hey, quiet, man. Are you being serious right now? Sorry, I haven't taken my crack yet. What were you saying? It seems like you're joking. You're not, you can't be serious. No, I'm actually serious. Like, this is a real thing. All drugs have side effects, right? Some's headaches. Mine is just keep you up all night. Okay, okay. Because it's crack. It's literally crack. Most people, like myself, sleep at night. So I, this will probably keep me up. Okay, well, I have an idea. Maybe you want some crack, too. We can stay up at the same time and get on the same you, sleep schedule. No, I don't want crack. Well, Are I you can, kidding me? I can ask my doctor. It's not like we're doing anything sketchy here. Dude, no, I don't want crack. This is sketchy. I've never heard of a doctor giving someone medicinal crack. It's not just for foot pain. It really helps anxiety, and it sounds like you're getting a little uptight. You could use You something. know what I'm anxious? Because my neighbor who lives upstairs with me just told me he's going to be doing crack and keep me awake all f night so are you talking about me or another neighbor yeah dumb f i'm talking about you again probably because i haven't had the crack my brain's not quite with it and not you know oh my god man this is not gonna either you're gonna move or i'm gonna move out because this is not gonna work out i'm gonna talk to the leasing agent when i get off the phone with you are you sure you don't just want me to leave you a little sample of crack for my doctor in your mailbox stop trying to sell me crack dude okay. stop trying to sell me crack okay fine well, i'll just with you? i'll tell you it's a prank phone call then all right your sister samantha set you up she's the real crackhead don't here. listen to me i wait what <laughs> yeah man my name's jose from the radio show brooke and jeffrey in the morning we're doing a phone tap on you this is not real are you serious <laughs> are you serious yeah and you said my sister samantha set this up yeah she said you were you're happy about your upstairs neighbor leaving because he was so <laughs> loud before so she wanted to surprise you with a new neighbor oh my god randall the crack fiend i'm here <laughs> yeah oh okay, that's really funny she's dead though <laughs> Dude, you, you need to calm down. You, I think you need a little bit of crack. Oh, I hate you. <laughs>